Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the University of Manchester Information Session. Thank you for joining us today. And wherever you are at this time, you could be at home, you could be at work. As long as you're keeping safe, that's all matters the most. I would like to welcome you, the Head of Compliance at Bank Nizwa, our current student of the program, um, Mohammed Al Hashmi. Mohammed, very good afternoon to you. Good afternoon uh, to everyone. Uh, good afternoon, Jason. So, in order for people to know more about uh, about you, Mohammed, if you don't mind, my very first question is that: tell us briefly about your career journey so far. Currently, I'm head of compliance in Bank Nizwa SOG. This is a listed uh, bank in uh, our stock market. Um, I'm uh, in charge and heading uh, regulatory compliance. Uh, Corporate governance, anti-money laundering, uh, uh, fraud risk management. Uh, I've been with Bank Nizwa uh, now six years. I completed six years. Uh, prior to that, I was uh, working for the Central Bank of Oman as a bank's examiner. So examiner means uh, I was auditor. I was going to banks and audit their books and records. So uh, I was over. Uh, I mean, uh, quite period. Uh, I mean, long period. Uh, into financial uh, uh, system. Uh, prior to moving to Central Bank, I was also working for Omani. Uh, that is aviation industry, but it was for short term. Uh, I think now uh, it has become, uh, you know, uh, you know, necessary that you know we go and uh, uh, augment our capabilities, academic capabilities. So uh, I'm currently a um, uh, member in the management committee. I'm uh, a member in the Oman Association, Association uh, Banks Association uh, in Compliance Committee. I'm uh, also a member in many committees in, uh, in the bank. I'm uh, a secretary of uh, uh, the board, Governance, Risk and Compliance Committee. Uh, I think uh, I've done quite, um, you know, I mean, a tough job to reach here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry you did. I'm sorry you did. <laughs> and and when it comes to to your decision um, in the beginning, when you're trying to look for for options of schools, uh, why did you choose University of Manchester? What's what made you realize that you know what this is the right school for me? That is a good uh, and uh, I mean uh, critical question to me. Because, <laughs> see, uh, I have in hand actually uh, an academic bachelor uh, degree from the Sultan Qom Kabus University the first uh, distinguished uh, university in, uh, in Oman. Uh, it was accounting uh, background, accounting major. Uh, I have in hand as well uh, some professional uh, I mean, certificates like international compliance, uh, international diploma in, in, uh, in uh, uh, governance, compliance and risk. And that is by uh, International Compliance Association. So uh, I've done with the uh, with the professional and academic uh, first level I can call it. I was searching for a university that can suit my uh, timetable because you know starting from uh, from eight to five, working uh, continuously and uh, you have no time just you know to stop and go to uh, pursue your uh, academic uh, growth. So I was searching for such, uh, I mean, uh, for some universities that suit my capabilities and uh, I mean, uh, I mean, reputed in the world. So my target was to look into the UK. I was looking um, in the UK, some uh, some universities, non-universities to uh, supply me with some, uh, I mean, uh, um, I mean, some schedules that suit my uh, timetable. And uh, all of a sudden I found, uh, I mean, uh, high rank because I was searching top 50 in the world. So I found this Manchester University in that table. And uh, there was financial management, a uh, master's in financial management, which is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the course and the subject uh, that uh, I was looking for because uh, I have accounting background. I'm looking to be a finance uh, specialist as well. Uh, for many reasons that I will um, mention later. Uh, then I saw that, you know, you will have like intensive, um, I mean, intensive face-to-face, -face, um, I mean, um, course intake. And uh, you will have as well, uh, what's called the, uh, uh, the online virtual uh, classes. Uh, in between, you will have some interaction with group. Uh, and it, that is meant for, for uh, I mean, uh, for finance and non-finance, uh, I mean, uh, background students. 
which will, um, I mean, drag me to, I mean, a better understanding with a group of, I mean, um, different uh, professions and different uh, academic background. Then I applied to it. I found it uh, the one that I'm, I'm looking for. It was ranked, uh, the University of Manchester was ranked uh, uh, at that time 27th in the world. And uh, the finance school was, I guess, 7th in the UK and 24th in the, in the, in the world. Uh, that's, that's something you cannot, I mean, let it go. So uh, I opted for it and I got uh, admitted. And uh, uh, right away I started the, I mean, the class. The class was at the beginning of the, se of the semester because that was the first semester. So we attended uh, uh, Dubai Center and it was a good experience to me. Just to follow up on that question, how important the rapping is for you? I mean, what, what, how did it play in terms of your decision making? At personal level, um, I'm, you know, usually looking for perfection, for excellence. Uh, I've graduated from first, um, I mean, academic school in, in the, you know, in the country. I was, I mean, I got high, high score as well in high school. So I have that standard. I don't want to, I mean, you know, uh, come down from that standard. And uh, uh, my target is just to go and check for UK universities because the system is the same. And uh, uh, I think um, universities, uh, I mean, all universities, like Manchester University, uh, started in 80, 1824, I guess. So I think uh, is the one that I'm looking for. They will provide me the, uh, the uh, I mean, uh, intake, the, uh, the uh, uh, educational uh, I mean, material, the direction, the style of learning, all will be uh, exceptional, in, it was in my opinion. And I was having some fear before I, I applied to the university that, you know, it will be a bit challenging and tough. But uh, when I started, I, I took the decision and I admitted myself into, into this university. And uh, when I started, I found very interested, interesting, uh, I mean, uh, school. Uh, it gets you into the subject, uh, you know, I mean, uh, very smoothly. And um, I mean, the, the uh, I mean, the information flow was, I mean, uh, very friendly because uh, I mean um, they don't give you like one plus one equals two no they uh, put you in the real life uh, uh, case studies you come from there uh, like you know uh, a finance manager or a CEO or uh, uh, you will see yourself you are in uh, I mean a project to uh, assess uh, the uh, I mean viability of that project so you will be in that situation to decide whether to go for that project or to uh, stop that project and the other way also it started with very I mean useful and easy uh, I mean uh, courses like uh, foundation to finance and foundation to accounting which is you know very important that we, we will support you and boost you for next level for semester two three and four so uh, what I feel it is like a ladder we are you know starting from from first ladder and reaching to the final uh, I mean destination which I see also, I mean, first, uh, it is consists of uh, two um, main assignments. First assignment, if you are not a finance background student, so, I mean, you will work with a group. So the group will be a combination of different backgrounds, academic backgrounds. That will give you also ability to cope with other students. So uh, in general, I can see, uh, you know, the style is used here very modern and exceptional. I don't think other universities, maybe there are, but I can feel this suits us where we have to earn the, uh, I mean, the, the information uh, that we need. Because I'm studying as well CFA on the other side. So I'm comparing here the masters in finance and the CFA. It goes line by line. And that's, that gives me some comfort to finish both. Can you, can you take us into the journey, Mohammed? so far? Do you do assignment? Do you, do you have a test so far? Yeah, I believe you have a workshop, as, a, as, a, as I mentioned earlier, and I, I saw you in one of our workshops here in Dubai. So can you, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, actually, uh, when we started, I mean, our sessions, it is actually three days, three days. You will have two subjects to clear. You will start with first, uh, I mean, we started, let's talk about, I mean, first semester. It was a uh, foundation of, uh, uh, of accounting and then foundation of finance. Foundation of accounting was for three days and foundation of finance was for another three days. The three days will contain both the uh, theoretical part and the practical part. 
So, I mean, in between, they will give you the assignment that you are going to work in after the, uh, I mean, uh, the classes. The, the first three days, it will be intensive, starting from morning until um, evening. And uh, uh, I think in between, you will have some case studies. That case study will drive you to the, to the mid-exam or mid-assignment, mid-term assignment with, uh, with the group. So, uh, in the, um, in the uh, as I remember, as I can recall, in um, uh, Foundation of Accounting, there was some quizzes, um, I mean, um, uh, to solve in Excel sheet. Uh, you will earn some marks out of it. So you will work hard with the group to, I mean, come out with the, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, good outcome of that uh, quiz. And then you show it there in the, in the uh, in the class so when you come and deliver your thought after out of that uh, quiz uh, you will uh, uh, you will uh, i give presentation small pre a short presentation in the class so we are giving some more small presentations uh, from uh, from time to time within the class and then after the three days you will be given a week to prepare for for that subject to prepare for a presentation and complete your assignment so assignment for, uh, for example, like a, a foundation of accounting will be uh, activity-based posting. So you will go and dig into, I mean, the financial statements and you find out the, I mean, the optim optimal way to save your costs. So uh, out of that, you will come out with some, I mean, uh, you visualize your, your, your data, your output into a presentation. So uh, there was something called a balance scorecard where you have to balance between business needs and the, I mean, community and the financials and customers as well. So, I mean, we uh, apply that to, to the assignment. Uh, foundation of, um, I mean, finance, uh, it was the same, uh, but it was about uh, projected, uh, uh, what's called, uh, projected uh, uh, cash flow. Also, it was like uh, Excel-based, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 problem where you go and solve the problem. Uh, you have uh, two projects to, I mean, uh, solve, and then uh, you will reach to a conclusion. This project is viable and or that project is uh, viable. So we apply what we learn through the class into, into the case study that is given. Then uh, week after, we will have two assignments and two presentations to provide as group. And uh, that will end the first mid uh, exam, first mid uh, term. And then uh, you will find the uh, second half of, of the semester to be uh, like you know individual assignment. Individual assignment is similar to I mean the the I mean classes that you took. It is about the same subject. One was about IBO of one company, and it was really really uh, I mean interesting and useful to me. Uh, it was assignment of around three thousand words, and uh, alhamdulillah I passed that. And uh, I have also the other one. Uh, it is accounting. Uh, it is about preparing balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow of a company. Uh, they have some problems there, so you need to solve it. After you come out, and then you write small essay about the importance of accounting. Wow. If, if I can visualize it right now, Mohammed, it seems exciting and challenging all at the same time. Uh, just to entertain one question from our audience, um, Mohammed, uh, Ahmed wants to know, how is the team dynamics? Uh, that is a good question, actually. Uh, as I said, uh, it is actually a combination combination of, uh, I mean, different uh, academic backgrounds. We had engineers, we have uh, software de uh, developers, they are, we had uh, from oil and gas, uh, um, I mean, students, and uh, we have finance, we have bankers, we had at that time. So it was, I mean, challenging to have this combination. You might be in a position to know better, you know, some information that you can share. So you give your input. But I, I, I felt at the beginning, you know, the synergy between the team members is required. Otherwise, you will not complete your assignment in time. Uh, that it is challenging, but I think everyone, every student, uh, I mean, is in this class is to learn and to give uh, the best that he has or she has. So everyone was, I mean, active from his side. Uh, they are giving their full capacity of their full, I mean, uh, efforts. And I still remember in both assignments, we have the IT developer. So he is excellent in Excel. I mean, uh, I mean, de uh, developing and techniques there. So he said, keep 
Excel, uh, you know, uh, to me, Excel preparation <laughs> to me. You know, some they will say we, I have finance background, so I'll I'll do the finance part. And others also they will talk about I'm um, from designing and you know. So it was very interesting. I mean, type of uh, I mean uh, combination, and I believe that the combination is decided by the school. And uh, the combination was I mean of different backgrounds, so everyone will learn from other. There is one good uh, one good uh, thing actually. After we left the school, this, you know the program style. Um, I mean, made us engaged with each other to have different you know virtual meeting between the group because you know we had Corona at that time. Everyone was traveled to his country, so I mean we schedule meetings every day how to reach to the best uh, delivery and submission. Amazing. I was about to I was about to say as well. I think that's really good in collaborating different minds in one in one specific project. Um, and I think that that's actually made it easier perhaps because as you said one person knows about this the other person knows about this and just collaborate and work together. I'm, I'm sure it will come a long long way, right? It is indeed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> one question more uh, Mohammed Will learning one subject in three days be very difficult and strenuous to understand? It is, it is indeed. It was, I mean, uh, it was three days, but it was, uh, to me, getting the entire subject in my head. I said that in three days would be exaggerated. I will not be able to absorb the material and, uh, you know, but it was uh, the otherwise, actually. It was interesting. From time to time, we had breaks. And I think, uh, I mean, the way how to deliver the um, the, the, the slides, even the tutors, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Hoshi, uh, he was amazing actually. And um, I mean, from accounting side also, he uh, she was uh, the professor was amazing. Uh, the slides were, uh, I mean, uh, to the point. Um, uh, they are not complicated. Um, I mean, the uh, professor stops whenever I mean any student asks for any question. And he comes down to the level of our knowledge, and uh, it is not a compli complicated at all. And uh, I think it was good interactive. Even in lunch uh, time, all we sit uh, in one table. I think that was uh, pre-arranged. So, uh, so we sit in one table and we discuss about the subject. We discuss about their career. So we have good networking as well. So I think the three days was, uh, I mean, to me, because I opted for part time. When I go back to uh, back home. So I will start, I mean, organizing my ideas, how to, I mean, uh, attend to, to assignments and uh, other, I mean, uh, requirements of the subject. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. Good. Oh, my good question. Before that, let me hold that call, the question. Let me ask you this, uh, Mohamed. Did you experience any significant changes for your life or career during your studies? Uh, yeah. See, coincidentally, before I started uh, this school, the uh, the master's MSc financial management. Uh, as I told you, I am part of uh, uh, management team of Bank Nizwa. We raised funds through capital uh, right issue in the market, in the MSM, in the stock market. So it was experience to me um, how to, I mean, prepare the prospectus, how to. So it was right after I started in September. Our capital was raised in uh, in August or July, I guess. So uh, it was good experience. Uh, when I finished from this, I mean, uh, I mean, injecting the capital, the right issue, the additional capital, I went to uh, study the uh, MSc financial management, and in there we did one another prospect prospectus, but it was about IPO. So the IPO is, um, I mean, uh, similar uh, to the right issue. You target, I mean, uh, public funds and you raise them. So how it changed me actually, um, um, accounting, um, uh, introduction to accounting, it talks about some, I mean, uh, I mean, between lines, uh, I mean, uh, financial instruments like cost, uh, variable cost and cost uh, based, uh, I mean, uh, activity based costing and some other, I mean, uh, elements where now when, when I read the financial statements, I will come to know this is driven from, uh, I mean, what part of the financial. Uh, uh, foundation of finance, I think it has changed me a lot because it talks about the capital injection, the cost of capital. It talked about, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the projected cash flow, the uh, now being head of compliance, I'm overlooking, uh, overlooking, uh, I mean, investments, banking investments, treasury banking as well. 
So the um, Forex and the investments uh, in Dover's, these are all projects. So you need to assess, are they viable or not to go for? So I'm into that. It is coming to management team. So we give our input. And I was, alhamdulillah, I was, uh, you know, active in giving such uh, analysis to such investment teams, whether to go for it or not. And that helped me a lot, actually, from the school. Uh, I mean, uh, from school materials and the classes that I took recently. Amazing. And there's more to come, right, Mohammed? There's more Inshallah. to come. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited to see others because we have, I guess, COVID finance the next semester and we have this data analysis. So I'm excited to see that as well. You're back in uh, this year again, right, Mohammed? Yeah, in to Dubai. Be May, May 30th. In May, yes. That's yeah. going to be a six day workshop in May. All right, let's go to another question from uh, one of our guests here. Are there certain timings provided by the business school so that all group members are available at the same time to do the assignment together? Yeah, uh, that's also a good question because you see uh, different timing in different countries. So uh, everyone will have their own commitments in work uh, with other, I mean, stuff in their life. So it was very difficult to gather them, um, you know, to meet in one time. But we made it. We said we must all meet because this is our duty now. This is teamwork. Everyone should work because the mark is assigned to the group, not to individuals. No matter, you know, no matter, I mean, how hard, uh, I mean, you worked or how, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I, you know how much you were involved, engaged in the uh, in the assignment. So we tried all to be aligned to one goal that the group should score the highest. So that will take us. I mean, and we'll, we'll have a credit in our score to the final assignment, individual final assignment. And this is very important. You have to, I mean, uh, make the good score, the good uh, marks in uh, in group uh, work, so you get relief for the final assignment and uh, we made it uh, we had uh, I can recall now we had from Egypt students from Egypt we had uh, uh, students from, uh, from uh, Dubai we had also from uh, Jordan so every country has its own time zone but they made it uh, in a few times they missed because of personal commitments but we I mean uh, we managed because they give their input. And some of them, if they miss the I mean, meeting, they will deliver their part after the meeting through email. So it was uh, quite good and uh, it taught us how to work as a team. Excellent. Uh, and an uh, additional question to that, since it's related, uh, was COVID uh, also a factor in having uh, some sort of uh, concern or challenges along the way during assignments or you know, group activities amongst your classmates? Actually, the only sad part in, uh, you know, in this school, the last school, uh, the last semester, uh, September semester, uh, due to Corona, that we couldn't see our tutor, uh, Dr. Khorshid and uh, the other professor, uh, you know, giving accounting because they couldn't travel due to restriction from the UK, not from our side. So he was about to travel, but uh, all of a sudden, uh, all was closed at the time, so he couldn't travel. So it was virtual. But hopefully the semester, and he promised us to come there, and we will have it face to face, inshallah. COVID, COVID nineteen, yeah, it is not only us; entire countries, <laughs> the world uh, has a, has been, you know, was affected by. by Absolutely. Yeah. But a, but a word of fact, actually, we have to say we didn't feel that, you know. I mean, uh, the doctor was virtual. We didn't feel any yeah. technically so Only a few times. So, I mean, even the class, I mean, atmosphere, the class arrangement, everything was, uh, I mean, perfect. Uh, the support team was there. I mean, every time they provide, they in every class, they provided uh, doctor, I mean, PhD holders to sit there to be our guidance. So we didn't feel that you know, we were missing the tutor in, uh, in, uh, in the class because of the, uh, you know, uh, well-managed and arranged, uh, I mean, uh, sessions. One question here, what is your aim? in doing this program. What is next of becoming a head of compliance after doing this program? See, uh, financial management, uh, there, there are two fields in financial industry. I mean, uh, finance or accounting. Accounting is preparation, the foundation of accounting. So I have that background, I have that foundation. 
I opted for financial in a purpose actually, to be a finance um, specialist. So I can read numbers, uh, ratios, I can analyze, um, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, uh, figures, reports, financial reports that come to me. Uh, because I'm interested in figures and numbers. I like, you know, to read between ratios. So usually, uh, sometimes I go and invest in market, uh, stock markets. So I read about their financials, how they are, I mean, uh, what projects they have been assigned, a lot of things. So that will invest, uh, you know, in me actually uh, to cope with, uh, I mean, uh, the um, uh, dynamic growth in the market. And uh, actually, um, it was a challenge to me to start this Manchester, I mean, uh, the MSc with the part time. But I said, in, on top of that, I have to also start another challenge. So I have to test myself. So uh, I started recently CFA as well. So CFA is uh, similar to MSc financial management. It talks about, uh, I mean, time, time value of money, present value, future value. So. Uh, uh, it talks about the same that I'm thinking here. So I'm, I'm, I'm studying here. So that helps me to learn this. And the MSc Finance also helps me to understand CFA. After I complete the CFA and the uh, MSc, inshallah, I'm planning to uh, continue my PhD. And uh, after I finish PhD, uh, I'm also thinking to switch, I mean, shift from compliance being a regulatory, uh, I mean, aspect to uh, business related. So I'll reach somewhere, inshallah, see you in the in future. There you go. There you go. That's the answer there. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that, Mohamed. One more last, one last question, Mohamed. Uh, from, let me just uh, scroll down a little bit here just to make sure I'm getting the right one. Um, best practices, especially for the online uh, commitment. Was there anything you, I mean, I think that we, that this person wants to know about best practices, hours of logging in, you know, checking what's going on online. If there's any about that that you can you can tell us once you are admitted uh, i mean uh, into the class into the school uh, you will be uh, having a support uh, person uh, i mean they will follow up with you every time and then they will check that you uh, is you are aware of the i mean um, online platform how to use it how to read about it how to get material uh, i mean uh, i mean uh, visual uh, visual to you so uh, the platform, there is online uh, session actually. Uh, it tells you how to go throughout uh, the uh, online platform. And uh, what I have seen as well, uh, I mean, uh, the um, platform itself is friendly used. You will have your own materials. You will be registered by automatically into the two courses that you are in. So you will find uh, like, for example, let's talk about uh, semester one. You will see, uh, I mean, foundation of, uh, uh, of accounting and foundation of finance. Every foundation, every, every course material, you will see the material uh, drop down list. So you opt for, I mean, uh, the, the, um, the papers and the subject that you need. Plus, you will uh, end with a quiz after every uh, chapter. So, I mean, that also will help you to assess your knowledge. And uh, there is also in the same platform, there is a, a library so you can download your books from the library given so that uh, you can refer back to it whenever you need if you, you are not finance background you can also read those books and you increase and augment your knowledge about finance uh, apart from that you will be given a, an email the communication will be through email it will be very smoothly so uh, I don't think that you will, um, any students think to join the school will find any difficult to, I mean, grab information from, uh, I mean, the platform. It is friendly used and I can see the, the, the interface is, I mean, um, uh, is, uh, I mean, friendly used. Thank you. Thank you for that. You know what, Mohammed, this is very, very enlightening. Thank you so much for this one, man. Uh, just one last question, Mohammed, coming from you, and I'm sure there's a lot of of attendees right now who also wants to, to be in your in your shoe right now was uh, what would be your advice to them uh, any parting words for this aspiring candidates in doing financial management what i can say um, if they are students uh, and they are i mean uh, working in financial industry continue with the uh, msc financial management that will augment you uh, you, uh, you know in your uh, career growth 
I believe the financial management is something uh, high level you have to opt for because uh, it is like decision making at management level. So uh, being um, finance or accounting background, I think that will increase and uh, will um, enhance your knowledge about uh, the financial financial industry. Uh, Non-finance students, um, for sure they will reach to a stage to reach to a management level, even a company, oil and gas, uh, high tech, uh, I mean, uh, many industries. At the end, eventually will be, uh, you will be ended up in uh, I mean, a senior level where you need also to analyze some data that you are given. So financial management, I think, is the good and the, the, the best paper that you can opt for because it is meant for, for people such, uh, such you. And uh, I think you will not face difficulty uh, to cope with other students because it is, I mean, giving from the basic. Uh, I advise uh, University of Manchester because it is highly ranked in the world and that is what you are looking for. And you, I mean, sometimes people see, uh, you know, it should be challenging and it will be a difficult, uh, I mean, uh, um, kind of a school. No, it is actually coming down to every level of knowledge. And they see that, you know, it is an opportunity to join such a program. Wow, thank you, thank you, Mohammed. Um, it, those are those are good words. Those are really nice advice to a lot of people who wants to do the, the program as well. We have learned a lot today from the journey from the beginning, in the middle, and even in the end. So I'm really um, hoping that um, you'll be great in the program as you as you always do, Mohammed. We really wish you the best. We will see you back in May. Uh, and again, man, thank you so much for accommodating us today. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you once again. And always be the change. We'll see you again next time. Have a good one. Bye for now.